Colombia is experiencing its worst drought in recorded history, fueled in part by the El Nino weather phenomenon that warms the waters of the Pacific Ocean. Much of the country is under an official red alert due to water shortages and wildfires. As CCTV's Michelle Begay reports, people are bracing for the worst. Since February, Dios Me Muñoz has been working for the Colombian government, supplying water to 90 neighborhoods in Santa Marta. Fifteen of these trucks, filled with 5,000 to 10,000 liters of water each, make four to five rounds a day. The El Niño weather phenomenon is drying up rivers and aqueducts throughout Colombia. It's been extremely hot in Santa Marta and it gets worse each day. The heat is strong and there is less water. The water wells are not producing enough water and that's made it so I haven't been able to leave Santa Marta, bringing water every day, weekends and even holidays. According to government officials, Santa Marta is experiencing its worst drought in 100 years. But conditions could get worse for Colombia as a whole. According to the country's meteorological institute, this year's El Niño will hit its maximum strength between October and January and contribute to continued evaporation of Colombia's water resources through the first months of 2016. The National Unit for Risk Management has been working to mitigate the effects of the drought. With $4.2 million, the government has earmarked to combat the extreme weather. More than half goes to delivering potable water to communities where sources have dried up. The rest goes towards controlling forest fires. There are solutions for the medium term where we will bring water from rivers located 30 to 40 kilometers from San Marta, and in the long run, we will bring water from the Magdalena River, which is 70 to 90 kilometers away and can help us in the next 50 years. Santa Marta's rivers are quickly drying up, as evidenced in the marshlands just 20 kilometers away from the city. Local fishermen tell us their livelihoods are at risk with rivers feeding the Cienega Grande of Santa Marta no longer bringing enough fresh water. We have less oxygen in the water, and the fish die of asphyxiation. When that happens, production lowers. As the sun sets in this region, some fishermen are just setting out to fish for shrimp that only come out at night to feed. But the drought will leave most of their nets empty where they once routinely brought in 100 to 200 pounds of shrimp each night. They expect only about 10 pounds tonight, if they're lucky. Michelle Vega, CCTV, Santa Marta.